Fit and Healthy is doing really nice things for you. So while we're on the topic, I have been introduced to Scentbird. What's pretty neat about this site is that you're able to select from 350 plus designer fragrances for men and women but you don't have to commit to a big bottle. You're getting a small 30 day supply for under 15 bucks a month. And there's so much to choose from. I got to try it myself. I enjoyed the cards that they sent and even the information they sent about how to use the fragrance and bottle that they send you. Basically, I went on the website and I was able to choose the Gucci Envy Me. I placed the link below to the fragrance that I chose. The reusable bottle that they sent is so cute. It looks like a little lipstick. You simply twist it, spray it on, and because it's so small and quaint, you can put it in the pouch, throw it in your purse, and keep it moving. And you know I couldn't leave you guys out, so go ahead and look below in the info section and find the website and also my 25% off code that will give you 25% off your first month. Let's go ahead and say those coins. It's your girl, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, and I'm coming today to talk to you about how one can continue to keep their weight off and stay healthy and stay fit. And this weight loss thing have been crazy. It has taught me so much about myself, about my limits, about what I can do and what I can't do. And yeah, we want to look good, but it's about the health, right? The reason why I lost weight in the first place was because my health was being shot down. It's easier to lose the weight than to stay fit and healthy. Losing the weight, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna take some time, but once you get the groove going, you know how to do it, you lose the weight. But then what? How do you deal with the days, the ups and downs, the lows, the highs, the family reunions, the Thanksgivings, everything I tell y'all, I've been through it for 10 years now. I mean, look at Oprah, right? Still doing Weight Watchers, still trying to figure it out. So let's get into these simple ways I've been able to maintain my health, my strength, how fitness has still fit in with my life for almost 10 years after a 100 pound weight loss. So the first thing that has to happen is you have to start to trust yourself. I didn't trust myself. I didn't feel like I had the tools needed to lose the weight. It was always the fact that I needed to depend on some diet, some person to work out with me, some boyfriend to make me feel better about myself, some friend to tell me I really wasn't fat. You know, I had to start to look at what do you want? You're doing all this working out, you're trying to eat healthy, and I knew that I wanted a lifetime of health and fitness. You gotta stop listening to people around you and what they have to say about what you need. Sometimes you can't even trust the scale or the mirror. Some days you're gonna feel better than others, your weight is gonna fluctuate, but you gotta trust that what you're doing is good enough and it's gonna get you through to what you have to do. And if you do find yourself with the weight creeping up again, trust that what you've done before works again. So continue to keep those healthy habits, learn new things about your body, learn new things about yourself, and I guarantee you it'll bring you up to another level of fitness because it's worked for me. I have to let go of emotional baggage. I get stressed really Really, really easy. I have high levels of anxiety. Everything can annoy me in like 10.5 seconds. I like to keep my stress levels really low. So that means letting go of people in your life that cause you a lot of stress, pain, sorrow. Learning how to not react to them and allowing yourself to eat or lose sleep or do other things that keep your anxiety levels so high. I had to also learn how to balance my life. When I get really stressed out, I'm gaining weight back. At one point you have to say, it's me or it's you. Honestly, most times I'm gonna win. It's okay to be selfish when it comes to your health because there's only one you. It tends to make you more accountable for your own health. I had to lose a lot of weight in order to lose weight. A lot of things that are unnecessary baggage have to go away. As soon as somebody comes with some dramas like I gained 10 pounds. Not only that, but it causes heart attacks, strokes, and other issues. So think about yourself first. You lose a lot of that extra emotional baggage. You're going to stay fit as well. I will spend money on forever. We'll ball out on some clothes, shoes, and even a car. But we will not ball out on our health. And if it involves my health and it tends to be cool, then I'm going to get it. Exercise equipment, a trip to learn something about fitness, entering into a fitness type of competition, I'm going to spend the money because I'm investing in me. Now it's time for Beautiful Brown Baby Doll News. Guys, these were some of the craziest things I heard while I was trying to lose weight. Well, don't you like your body the way that it is? I mean, I think it's all right. Thanks for the compliment, but there are some things about my body I don't like, but most of all, I want to be healthy for me. Well, don't you think you're getting a little bit too skinny? 
Not too sure about too skinny, but I am getting much healthier and I'm loving the way my body is looking lately. Girl, it is not gonna kill you to eat that piece of cake. Eat that dang on cake. You're right, it may not kill me, but it might throw me off my goals. So I'll pass. People on diets are so annoying. You're gonna be one of those bogus health nuts. While I am more focused on health, you don't have to feel like you have to do any of the things that I'm doing to be healthier. Now I know you've lost weight and everything already, but are you sure you can eat that? Well, it's interesting that you should ask because most people didn't care much about what I was eating when I gained weight, but I'll focus more on what I'm eating now that I'm losing weight. Oops. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. The next thing is I'm realistic with myself. I do clothes check-in. Every year, I keep some of the same jeans I had from when I lost weight to now. I tend to fluctuate between the size two to a five, depending on who makes the clothing. If I find that those pants are getting too tight or that shirt ain't holding it in right, it's time to switch the game up. I'm gonna have to change my exercise routines, my eating habits, but I nip it in the bud really quickly. I'm not gonna walk around in stretch pants and feel like I'm still the same size. You know when you gain weight. You know when the lap done shown up. The lap over your belt. The lap over your pants. Your stomach done lapped. If you are gaining weight, nip it in the bud. And don't continue down a slippery slope. Oh, well, I'll start next week. You never start. And then it's next year and you 100 pounds heavier. At least that's what happened to me. Also in this game, I have to stay very, very motivated. I work out hard, y'all. How many times I've switched workouts? I've run a marathon, a full 26.2 mile marathon. I have taken on kickboxing. I do all kinds of crazy workouts with the police department, hit training and workouts. I'm also starting to become a personal trainer. Becoming a group fitness instructor and all of those different things that I've done have been ways for me to challenge and hold myself accountable. So if I don't hold myself accountable, who is? Yeah, I get my butt up every morning and I'm clowning, I'm shaking. I'm hard, I'm shaking. I'm dancing all around, I'm getting it in. You know why? Because I gotta live in this body for the rest of my life. My mama jokes, when she comes to visit, she be like, girl, you be working out hard. When I was gaining 100 pounds, I was eating real hard. I only get this one shot at life. And so I get my behind up every morning, whether it's only for 20 minutes or up to an hour if I have it to spare. I'm going to show my body that I care for it. Instead of a past fat fiend, yeah, instead of crack fiend, Fat thing. I have to maintain what I need to do in my surroundings, my workouts, my food, and everything else in order to maintain my temple. And once I understood that, I'm good to go. Another thing is stay fit by not allowing people to talk you out of being fit. They don't know all the work that you're putting in and they don't know what you're doing behind closed doors and how much this means to you, how important this is to you. Well girl, go ahead and eat that piece of cake. You gonna work it off anyway. What they don't know is you two pieces of cake away from having a whole cake binge. Because they might have self-control, they expect that you do too. If it's in my house, it's fair game. I don't bring stuff in here that shouldn't be here. Because if I don't stay motivated, I don't stay on top of the things that I need to do. But that took me doing this and learning how to stay the way that I wanted to and keeping my life in a healthy balance. The next thing is to control yourself. You cannot control everything around you, but you can control you. When you go to a party, you can't say, I have to eat everything here because it's a party. Or I'm going out to eat because everybody else goes out to eat. Some events I will not be able to attend because I know I'm prone to eating things and I can't control the setting around me, but I can control me. And so if that means I need to eat before I go somewhere, bring food with me, or even check out a menu before I head to a restaurant, then I'm gonna do that. I hope that these things have been most realistic for you. I'm hoping that down below you'll leave me with some more suggestions that you would like to see. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace.